All right, I've been at it this morning. Got up, went and mowed the other house because I'm gonna need my trailer. I've got the Baxter hooked up, set up, I mean. Got the chute up to the room and uh, we are ready to pound away at this stupid plaster. Gosh, man. <sighs> this is the worst. I hate this part of the whole thing, but it's got to happen. Here we go. We are done with the plaster, uh, getting the plaster off. This is all what's come out of the walls. And uh, we started taking the lath off today. So we would have shown you that first thing, but we we're waiting on the camera to charge. We let the battery die and we thought we were charging it, but we weren't. So we've got one and a half walls of lath off. We've taken a load down. We're putting all the small pieces in here taking them out to the fire pit I'm burning them and then we're gonna start taking those out so that this place isn't just a gigantic mess we're gonna do this methodically hopefully and 
Maybe it'll take less time and we'll just do it smarter. We're gonna put the chute up. We we'll put the chute back up. We had to cover it last night. So I thought it was gonna rain. And uh, we're gonna put the chute back up. Cause I don't think it's gonna, I mean, it kind of might rain today. I don't know, we'll see. And then uh, we'll start dropping these, this lath. I'll get it on the fire. We'll start burning it and we'll keep moving. I think we're gonna get this lath off today and get this room, I think we can get it ready for. Wiring and insulation, right? Yeah. That may be tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe we can start putting insulation up tomorrow. All right, let's do it. Gonna take it to the fire pit. doing good all right all of the lath is off all the nails are pulled we didn't really show that because boring now we're ready to clean up so we're gonna sweep all the all the gnarl up I gotta stick the shop back down those cavities get that all cleaned out the best I can it's gonna be a pain a real pain sweep up all the edges but what I do want to show is how we're gonna control some of this dust so just like every shop back you got an inlet and an outlet I've got an extra hose from the old shop back I had I'm gonna hook that on the outlet I'm gonna run it over to that drain hose, drain uh, corrugated pipe. 
We're gonna run it out the window and try to keep some of the dust down in this room. I think it's gonna work. So today is going to be insulation day. Walls are ready for some insulation. But first we're going to put up the Duravent like we did in the past. And what that'll do is it'll create a barrier uh, between the, I don't know, I guess the sheeting, the outside sheeting of the house and the insulation that'll create just a small barrier that will allow for any it, it just allows for a little gap for there to be air circulation so if the if the insulation were to get wet then it'll have some air circulation and it'll be able to dry so the outside of this house has no tyvek wrap that or house wrap that you typically see i don't know there's places in here where you can literally literally see light not right now because it's a little dark outside, but they're in here. But anyway, I think you can probably see some of the water intrusion that's happened through the years. You can see evidence of water getting in, so it's certainly under that window. It gets wet all the time, but that's going to be remedied when I put the new windows in. But ultimately... Once the interior of the house is done, I'm going to get the exterior. We're going to rip all this old siding off. All the old 45 angled wood that's on it. And I'm going to rewrap it properly and uh, be able to put up a vapor barrier and moisture barrier from the outside to protect all this. And then I'd like to go up with metal eventually on the outside. But that's a ways down the road. Hey, there's some light. Look at that. So anyway, I'm going to, we're going to do these walls. And we're going to do this wall that butts up to the bathroom. I'm not going to do this wall yet. Because on the other side of this wall, this, so there's a closet. On the other side of that wall is our bedroom closet. And then on, side of, on the other side of the interior closet wall is our bedroom and I'm not going to insulate that yet I'm going to put an R13 in there just for just for sound um, just kind of as a, as a uh, sound barrier but uh, I don't want to put it up yet because I still got to knock all the lath down in that room and I don't want it to be tearing up the insulation when I go to tear it down so I'll do that insulation for this wall at that time. Next room. Let's get started. So we got a subscriber named Wesley. And uh, he always sends his comments, and he's a good kid. He's got a channel, Wesley Clayball on YouTube. You should check him out. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Bet it. <laughs> now we have to replace the window. So used to this, I can do it without lugging. Gosh, the cock. Makes our house watertight. <laughs> tubes and tubes and tubes. like mozzarella cheese. The more you pull it, the longer it gets. Bada bing. So in recent years, right, we've seen an uptick in those little orange ladybug looking things. Stink bugs too, but particularly the little orange ladybugs. Ground zero. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Don't fall out the window. Ugh, I'm nervous now. Bible says do not fear. <laughs> Jeez. Hopefully none of our kids are below. Gosh. Boop. It's no wonder. I'm, I'm never surprised that we've had water problems when we take the windows out. Thank you.